Today I want to show you how to share media files over a home network directly from your PC to the TV. For this, we need several things. First thing we need is a TV with support for DLNA, like this Panasonic Plasma. The other thing we need is a media server software running on a PC, for example. In our case, I chose to install Methmo, which installed very easily and also imported all of my media files on the usual directories without any problem. So here now you can see, in this case, some movies. You can see here that it imported not only AVI files but also Matroska containers like the MKV files. One of the nicest things about Methmo is the support it gives you to do transcoding on the, on the fly. What does this mean? For example, my TV does not support Matroska containers. Methmo has, knows that because it has a, an internal library with many different devices. You can see here that it recognizes automatically my Panasonic Viera TV. This means that uh, Methmo knows uh, what my TV can do and what my TV cannot do. For example, uh, playing Matroska video files. So what does Mesmo do? When you try to play one of those movies it will start a transcoding on the fly and it will start streaming the result to your TV. If the PC is powerful enough uh, this, it will be no problem for the PC and it will be, it will be done transparently. So, okay, let's go and try it. So here we are, watching TV. This is the media servers menu. Here it is. Methmo is automatically recognized by the TV. And here it is. Now we go into the directory structure of the library. So in our case we want to go to video, folders, downloads, movies. And here are all the movies that we were seeing on the PC screen one minute ago. So for example, let's say um, I want to see one DBX movie could be Resident Evil. So right now it's playing the media file over the home network. You see that white box right behind the TV, that's my router. It is connected via Ethernet to the TV and from there it's via Wi-Fi to the rest of the home network. So here is my movie. You can fast forward just as if it was uh, connected via external hard disk or pen drive. Sound. Okay, fair enough. This was easy because it was a DBX file which uh, my TV has support for. But let's try with uh, Matroska, like this one, Iron Man 2. This is a Matroska video file, so it will start transcoding on the fly. There you are. Exactly the same for the TV watchers. They just don't care if it's Matroska, AVI or whatever. It just streams whatever you need, whatever your TV needs. 
Nice, isn't it? Okay, let's go back to the Mesmo console. You can see it's working. Media server is running. You can see the CPU load here. No big deal. You can see the bandwidth used by the connection around 4 5 megs, megs per second. It's high definition, so it's, uh, it's normal. Okay. Okay, so this is all for today. Thank you. Bye.